Step three in mastering the bent row. We've already talked about making sure you can do your RDL because that's required for the setup for this whole exercise. And we've already talked about learning how to row because that's how I do it. But maybe I learn how to row in a way that isn't the bent over row because that's like the most challenging variation that I could possibly do. Uh, third step here is, is just a note on intensity selection. So intensity is the term that we use for um, the, the like proportion of the maximal weight that you can use. I think a lot of people spend too much time testing their strength in the gym because it feels really good to set a PR and it feels really good to do something that you've never done before. And it, it's really, really motivating, but it's, it's kind of addicting and kind of in a bad way. Um, a lot of times, like, again, nothing wrong with setting PRs. Like, I want you to do that, and I want you to do that semi-regularly. Uh, but I want you to do that probably monthly and not necessarily, um, daily, you know, uh, or weekly. If you're only doing this exercise once a week. The idea here is I think people spend too much time testing their strength and not building it, right? The idea isn't let me peak to my highest weight and then um, you know, maximize my potential in the shortest amount of pos shortest amount of time possible. The idea is I want to lift for as long as possible to maximize my potential so that I'm always climbing upward. I'm always sailing towards another PR. Um, there, you know, if you train, if you want to be a power lifter and you want to lift the heaviest weight that you can, if you're only doing sets of one, two, and three all year, you're going to stall out. You're going to, what we call hit a plateau where you, you stop gaining and then you just kind of keep settling out at wherever you've been. Um, I, I'm very passionate about this because I did this when I was training for powerlifting. I thought I just needed to lift heavier and then my nervous system would somehow get really, really strong. And it does that, but it doesn't do that forever, right? I need to continue building up other tissue resilience. I need to prioritize my recovery. I need to sleep. I need to eat really healthy foods. Um, I need to eat enough of them. and doing that supports all of the other tissues that give you strength, right? It's, it's, you know, strength is determined by the nervous system. Absolutely. But your potential is determined by what these tissues can do. So if I put on muscle, I'm going to get stronger, like, you know, keep my motor unit activity the same. If those muscles are bigger, that motor unit can produce more force. That is the, the science of it, right? There's no disputing that. So it pays sometimes to take a step back, treat yourself like a bodybuilder for a little bit, do higher reps that seem kind of nauseating and maybe are literally nauseating. Um, but what that does is it builds a skeleton, it builds a, a support frame that will allow you to have a higher ceiling. And when you have it, when you're further away from that ceiling, it's easier to just keep shooting up and up and up. So with learning the row, the idea isn't let me do the most weight that I can possibly do on the first time that I do this bent over barbell row. The idea is let me pick an appropriate weight that will allow me to maximize my technique early on so that I don't create bad habits that someday I'm going to have to untrain, which is way harder than training good habits. Uh, pick an appropriate Wait.